Hello everybody! So now I'm going to show you a Philips, a Philips P-Line model. All right, Philips SOC, that means system on chip. They have several lines which are P-Line, D-Line, Q-Line, B-Line, also T-Line. But my most favorite is D-Line, the next one is the P-Line. P, I think, stands for professional. And this is it. I'm going to show you two ways to install the NoviSign app. That means the Android APK of NoviSign over this unit. And everything can be done using this remote control. Uh, you can also use a mouse, but uh, I think that should uh, do the trick. So first, in order to access the Android operating system, I have a tweak. That means a sequence of keys on this remote control, which I need to press. Let's try it. It's home 1888. And this is the Android OS, which I see here. So let's see what can I do with that. I have settings, I have apps. So for the apps, you see I already installed the NoviSign app. Now, since there is no Google Play Store, I cannot download NoviSign APK from the Google Play Store. So I have two other alternatives. First one, I can use this browser, which is called Chromium. It's just like, very similar to Chrome. So I can just go to the Chromium I can go to the NoviSign download page, which is app.novisign.com slash downloads. And there I can download our APK, download and run it, of course. Let's go back. Now, after downloading that, if I'm not able to install it, I can go to the file manager. And in the file manager, I will have to search for, uh, there's a folder which is called download should be here under storage. Oh, it goes back. Let's do it again. Home 1888. Let's try again. Home 1888. Don't give up. If it doesn't succeed in the first time, try in the second time. Now, something very important. Of course, you can, the other alternative is bring a discount key. Uh, go to apps like I did before then enter the file manager find your discount key and just click it install it and now comes the important part which is the settings I am now I'm accessing the Android settings something very important is this option signage display after I have installed the Novisan APK I must go here to the settings go to the signage display and while I'm inside, there's something, one thing which I need to do is to go to custom app and choose the NoviSign. When I click here, I actually can choose any installed app. That means I can do that only after I install the NoviSign APK. And this tells the Philips or the Android OS over the Philips which one, which app is the digital signage app to be installed here. So once I do that, I'm ready to go. See, the app is already running. And there are two more settings which I would like to mention here. After you install the Novisan APK, um, there are two settings which are unique for Philips. And the first one is actually, when you go to the display block of settings, this one is called video to video transition. Make sure that it's on high compatibility, not the default which is auto, it's the high compatibility. Uh, why? Because this is how Philips works on this option. And the other thing which you need to do is this. You have to scroll down to another block of settings which is called play mode. And under play mode you need to turn on the restart on inactivity. The default are 60 seconds. That means 60 seconds after the app starts it will automatically start playing the content like you've just seen at least two times while I'm, I was speaking here. And the reason is, why, is because after reboot, if you don't turn on this option, and this happens only here on Philips, then uh, the app will not start even though you checked the uh, start player automatically checkbox. That's not enough. That's why you need to turn on the restart on inactivity. Okay, so this one and the video to video transition. Two settings which are specific to every Philips SOC which you have. That's it. Hope you enjoyed.